Welcome to July's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is find minimum in rotated sorted array 2. Suppose an array sorted in ascending order is rotated at some pivot unknown to you beforehand. We can have a list of numbers in ascending order and it might be rotated at some point, we don't know. It's going to look something like this. So this 0 here at the index what 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is going to be the pivot point. And we want to find the minimum element. Now there's a twist to this question is that the ray can have duplicates. And we'll go into that in a bit. First, let's rehash how we solve this problem. Generally speaking, uh, what we'll do is do a binary search and check in the middle to see if the rightmost pointer is less than the middle. And if that is, then we know that the pivot point needs to be on the right side. So if we check the very rightmost and see that, hey, uh, it's actually less than our middle one, then we know wherever the pivot has to exist in this array. Otherwise, it should exist here. And we'll just continue that binary search in that fashion until we're left with the pointer pointing at uh, two points, left and R, and we'll move up our left pointer to the mid plus one, and that's going to return to us the index. So normally, what we'll do is set two pointers, zero for the left pointer, and the length of nums minus one for the right, and while L is less than R, we'll first calculate our midpoint. Say L, L plus R divided by 2. Uh, if the nums mid is uh, greater than the nums right, then we know that it's on the right side. So what we do is change our left to equal uh, mid uh, plus one here. Otherwise, we'll say r equals mid, and then we just return the nums l, or r, it doesn't matter. At this point, it should be the same. Now, this will work normally, uh, but the twist here is that we can have duplicates. And the reason that's an actually an issue is we can imagine that we have an array that looks like like, like this. And say that we start in the middle and check our right. Looks like our right is not greater. It's equal. Then we check our left. Or we don't even check that. We just move to the left side. But you can see that's not right. Our pivot exists on the right side. But according to this algorithm, it's going to go to, to search on the left. Uh, so even if we said, oh, well, else if nums mid is, um, is what? Less than, nope, greater than the nums, oh, I'm sorry, less than, less than whatever's on the left. Uh, even if we made sure that, it wouldn't even fulfill either of these conditions because the left pointer is three, the right pointer is three, and the midpoint is three. So which way do we go? We have no clue. Um, and really, there's no way to figure it out. The only thing we know for certain, given like a problem like this, is that this right pointer is definitely not the pivot. That's the only thing we know for sure, because uh, how is that possible? This can't be the pivot if everything else in here is the same. So the only thing we can do then is say, well, we know the right isn't the pivot, so why don't we just subtract that by one? And that's really it. That's all we can do. Uh, and hope as we search everything else, uh, that should eventually find us our pivot. Otherwise, let's say everything's the same like this, it would just go through the whole array and that would be what a linear time complexity. So this unfortunately does change the runtime complexity. Uh, worst case scenario, it could be a linear time complexity. But for most test cases, it should be fine because um, I mean, we assume that there's going to be different numbers that are going to be in ascending order. So let's go ahead and submit that. And that does get accepted. Um, yeah, so that's that's really just the twist. It's just a little variation of this original find minimum in rotated sorted array. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.